This little icon means sharing, and it's awesome on Android. You can build an action send intent yourself, but I prefer using share combat and share text with just a single command. I'm Ian Lake, and I'll go through what it takes to correctly share content to other apps as well as receive that content. What kinds of content? We saw text, but how about HTML formatted text? Files? Images? Is such a thing even possible? Yes, it is. So let's just do it. Share some text. ShareCompat does the hard work of constructing our intent. You just have to make sure to set the MIME type. This is how apps filter what type of content they can receive. Then call start activity. We wrap it in resolve activity. This prevents activity not found exceptions for cases where there's actually no app that can handle what we're sharing. Better safe than sorry. That was too easy, though. Let's do HTML text. Ooh, as an email. Hmm. Well, not much more to it. HTML text uses set HTML text. Makes sense. We added a subject, and we can add multiple to CC or BCC email addresses. They only apply to email apps, but that's fine. Receiving apps can ignore them if they want. You just give it all you got. But talking about the sending side without talking about the receiving side, it's like talking about peanut butter without mentioning jelly. Or something like that. The receiving activity would need an intent filter with the appropriate MIME type. We'll note we add the category default. You won't get any of our start activity implicit intents we've created without it. Category browsable is what allows websites to directly share into the app. Then, whether the sender used ShareCompat or not, you can use Intent Reader to extract the information you need. But text, formatted or not, is a bit basic. Let's move on to the cool part. Sharing, say, ooh, an image. Now we're getting somewhere. OK, so set stream is new. Except where do we get that URI to image? Ah, here's the interesting part. You'd think this could be a file path to the image itself. It's actually a really bad idea. It means you need to write the file somewhere accessible to other apps, potentially needing the right storage permission. And the receiving app would definitely need the read storage permission. With Android 6.0 Marshmallow, those are dangerous permissions that need to be requested at runtime. Don't be that app. Instead, we have a whole training doc on correctly sharing files in a way that requires no storage permission using File Provider. Check out our blog post and docs for how to set it all up first. So what does our code look like now? We've used File Provider's Get URI for File to get a shareable URI suitable for passing to another app. Awesome. We even get a way of determining the type automatically from the file. Under the hood, this approach uses what's called URI-based permissions. The sending app grants permission to just the single URI. We grant permission by calling set data with our URI and then adding the flag grant read URI permission. That's it. Now, the receiving side can use Get Content Resolver Open Input Stream to get the image. So we know how to share text and files to other apps, as well as receive those files, all without dangerous permissions. Hope this helps you play well with others and build better apps. <laughs>